Today, a wide-ranging new interview with former President Donald Trump. Megyn Kelly pressed Trump on the federal classified documents case, specifically the 2021 audio tape of Trump as he seems to show someone a document. You can hear him describe it as a plan for a potential attack on Iran. Trump recently told Fox's Brett Baer that he was holding up just a, it was a newspaper, he said. Take a look. Why would you be holding up a newspaper saying this is still secret? I'd have to I look at it. I could be classified if I were look, president. I would have not. to look at it. But that's what well, you told I could Brett have Baer. You told Brett Baer that that was a newspaper I could have declassified. No, I also told Brett Baer, as I remember, I don't know, it was a long time interview. Well, you tell uh, me, what were I you told, waving around I also that told Brett Baer that it wasn't a classified document. What were you waving around in that meeting? Because it certainly sounds like I'm not like going to talk to you about phone. that. I'm allowed to have those documents. But, that, but once you get a subpoena, you have to turn them over. I know this. I don't even know that because I have the right to have those documents. So I don't really know that. Do you believe that every CIA document that came to you as president was automatically yours to keep no matter what? Uh, I'm not going to answer that question. Well, a man. Wow. Nice work. Let's discuss with our, our, our panel. Um, I have to say, uh, she did a really good job there. I mean, like, I he... was going to say, as a media moment, this is really great. I think because after she left air, so to speak, and has been sort of speaking more um, supportively of Trump, maybe he thought it was going to be a slam dunk. Mm -hmm. And she came out swinging and was sort of the old Megyn Kelly as people knew her. And as a result, that's a helpful moment. You know, she also asked him about Biden being old. And Trump was the one to say, hey, I don't think the problem is age. I think the problem is incompetence. That undermines an argument that the party is making about age. So there were another a number of moments in that interview that were fascinating. And it was good to see a return to form in terms of a line of questioning. Yeah, I mean, Jake, as a matter of strategy, as a Republican strategist, he should have said, look, I didn't do anything wrong because that's what the base expects. And then I would have told him to pivot to the economy, where 34 percent of the country believes that the president is handling the economy well. Most Americans don't. This is a bad issue for Donald Trump. But what's it does the not register well with Swing with a consultant saying that that's true. But I'm saying as a strategist, yeah, that's as the advice that I, that I would I give. I admire your uh, most independent <laughs> leaning right voters very, just do not like the, the president's behavior on that. I like it. Yeah. It is. I like it. it is. You, you would be able to tell him what to say. <laughs> and he would take your excellent Maybe. advice. Maybe. Your excellent well, advice. Well, let me let me just play the, the, the sound that Audie was just talking about when uh, Megyn uh, Kelly asked him if he thinks, and we should point out, uh, Donald Trump is, I believe, 77. 77. Yep. Yes. Uh, Donald Trump is 77, and she asked him, do you think uh, Joe Biden, President Biden, at 80 is too old? No, not old. He's incompetent. He's not too old. He's incompetent. And uh, age is interesting because some people are very sharp and some people do lose it, but you lose it at 40 and 50 also. Uh, but uh, no, he's not too old at all. He's uh, grossly incompetent. He can't make the age argument because it falls against him as well. So in that instance, probably one of the better things Donald Trump has said. But he also realizes many interviews that he has given before, he hasn't already been indicted and he wasn't going to actual federal or state court. And now he is. And so perhaps, I mean, I don't, he, Donald Trump doesn't listen to a Republican strategist. He doesn't listen to his attorney. Perhaps maybe for the first time, except with the exception of this interview, where he's like, I'm not going to answer this because it could, could be incriminating. He needs to stick to that line for now until so that a uh, a peer of his, a jury of his peers can actually decide oh, whether he's guilty that's or good, not. That's, that's I just good. don't think he's going to incriminate him. I was following. I, was like, I mean, I just don't think yeah. he wants to incriminate himself right now yeah. in interviews. I mean, let Republicans like he had make in that argument past. about age. I think that was smart by Trump. Let the party yeah. and, and others make that. Even what we're if, I mean, if he can't even handle aggressive questioning by Megyn Kelly, that interview to me sort of illustrated he has too many yes people around him. Oh, yeah. He's about to go to trial, potentially. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how do you stand up to cross-examination if you can't even go back and forth with Megyn Kelly? Well, speaking of that, uh, he was asked about the possibility of facing prison time. Take a listen. This is very scary for you because you're facing left-wing judges. You're facing some likely left-wing juries, yeah, and at least three out of the four. Yeah. There is a realistic chance you could go to prison. Um, Can you see that happening? You know what? My I have a great attitude. It doesn't affect me at all because uh, I'm fighting for the country. I'm fighting for the people. That was you a beautifully baked question. <laughs> something you believe, something you believe, something you believe. 
but do you worry about going to prison? Right, you know, right, right. I mean, that's the reality of what he's looking I at. I mean, of course, he's worried he's 77 years old, and, and most of the Republican voters that I talked to, and I was just in the Midwestern state several days ago, Jake, many of them believe that the president will, a former president will be found guilty in some of these charges because of where the case is. Do they, they don't think it's because he is guilty? No, they don't think it's because he's guilty. Yeah. They think because of where the, where the tr trials are going to be held. Yeah. And so from their perspective, he has to win this. Can, he, he has no other choice. Can I just say, if you are not worried about going to jail by any standards huh. of what our criminal justice system is in this country, you are out of touch with yeah. reality and you are out of touch with the everyday American. Most people do not want to go to jail. Oh, and for him to sit on national television yet again and say it doesn't bother me is he is lying to the American but, people. But that's once the again. posture that his supporters suspect. Of course he's afraid. Yeah. But if you speak to his supporters, they often say, well, we like him. He never backs down. He's a fighter. So he has to maintain that persona. But see, I, I think, Jake. Which is a lie, though. The persona is a lie. Well, see, this is the thing about you saying he should listen to political strategists. Because for, from my perspective, I would say, Mr. President, this is a moment to be vulnerable. Tell your voters, mm -hmm. I am worried about mm -hmm. this. These folks are coming after me. You need to vote for me. You need to keep giving. He had an opportunity to do that, but he did not. He does not like expressing any vulnerability. I mean, I think that's yeah. not it's a criticism. It's clear, but that's it would have been smart. Observer.